What's up guys? All right, so I got something that a lot of people may not even know existed. I showed this to people and I had a chance to pick up a few of these and I, I did. I picked up a few Black Aces tactical guns. Um, I've not had a chance to shoot any of them, but this one right there. And I do want to say this thing is super duper light. And uh, the recoil on it is a little bit on the heavy side. I ain't gonna lie, it's 12 gauge. That was even low brass. I've got some high brass to shoot. Um, it only has an 18 and a half inch barrel and uh, it's a lever gun. Check that out. I have seen some reviews of this on um, YouTube and a lot of people said that theirs did not work well. But you can see right there, mine functioned flawlessly. Now that was the only first five rounds I put through it, but most of the time, if you're gonna have an issue with a firearm, it is gonna be through the first few rounds. Um, but when I seen this, just look at this. This thing is beautiful and it's kind of odd. I'd seen lever action shotguns before, but I had never owned one. Now, I do want to say this. These things are not the cheapest shotguns in the world. They run about $400-ish on like Palmetto State Armory or something like that, if you can find them in the black. I think the one I seen over there actually had like a chrome or silver, silver barrel and receiver. Um, I have seen this one on Black Aces Tactical's website. I think it was like 419 or something like that on their website for sale in the black. Um, if you prefer the black, um, I just really like how this one looks. Now it does have the safety right here. And when it is on safe, you cannot work the lever. It has to be safety off before you can work the lever. Um, the trigger, not bad, not bad at all. It's, it's actually really, really good. The action of the lever, is pretty smooth as well. And I do want to show you this. When you come back up, it has a little spot right here. You have to make sure it's clicked all the way back up um, whenever you shoot it. Not a big deal while you're shooting it, uh, especially if you're shooting it kind of fast. As you can see, it does have a ribbed barrel. Again, this is 18 and a half inches and uh, it is pretty lightweight. You can see right here, uh, Black Aces Tactical. Don't know if a lot of you have heard of that. It does have a pretty good pad back here on the back, but there again, uh, this thing is a little bit lightweight. I mean, you could carry this through the woods a long way and not be very tired. Uh, it does have a five round magazine tube uh, plus one in the chamber. So you get six rounds out of this little bad boy right here. And it just feels, I mean, it, it feels really, really good. No lies. I mean, I'd never really heard of Black Aces Tactical much. I mean, I'd heard about them a little bit, but nothing major. And uh, when I had a chance to pick up several of these, I, I picked up four shotguns from them the other day. Um, they feel really good. Now this one just has your standard beat up here. Stay uh, tuned to the channel because I will be reviewing every one of these shotguns individually. And there is a tactical version of this that will probably be coming up here in the near future. The only issue I have, and I don't know if you can see this. Yeah, you can see it right there. Like it was in the plastic and uh, I don't know how to get that off. It's shiny, it almost looks like the plastic's kind of melted or something. I'm not sure exactly what happened right there. Um, but that is the only thing with the gun that I noticed. And uh, for what I picked these up for, I definitely cannot complain about that. Um, I just, just look at this. I mean, seriously, just, just look at this. Have you ever seen a shotgun that looks as good as this? I mean, I really, I mean, maybe like a, Beretta M4, but guess what? They make a clone of that as well. And I hear it's pretty nice and I might be able to get my hands on one of them to review. And I look really forward to that because I've always wanted a Beretta M4 shotgun. Not a huge shotgun fan. I'm not gonna put thousands of rounds through any shotgun just because there again, I'm not the biggest shotgun fan, um, but shotguns do work. And you know, pistols are used to make way to get to rifles. Rifles tear holes, shotguns take chunks. So uh, let's put a few more rounds through this thing. We're gonna put some high brass through it now. The low brass, like I said, it's light enough. It had a kick, I ain't gonna lie. You might not wanna let your little kid shoot this until they get a little older. Um, I have a high th uh, theory or I have a thought that high brass is uh, gonna be a little bit harder. Let's go load some up. See you back here in a second. Now, I ain't gonna lie, guys, this is some old ammunition. You can see there's 12 gauge, two and three quarter. It is high brass. Um, 
So it's sort of kick a little bit harder, but I want to let y'all know what I was shooting. It's Remington duck and pheasant, and it has a little age on it, but it should run just fine. All right, let's see how this goes. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have some bruising tomorrow after shooting three shotgun videos, uh, today, but, um, that's okay, that's all right, because I do this for you guys, and I enjoy shooting, uh, but that one right there with the high brass, it, uh, it rocked me a little bit, as lightweight as this is, and, uh, I'm not sure that the, that the tactical version isn't even lighter weight than this, but it does have sling swivels right here, you can put your sling on it if you'd like, um, I'm sure you could probably buy this just unscrews and you might even be able to buy um, extensions for these because one of the shotguns I didn't bring it today but it has a huge extension for competition uh, so you can probably buy extensions for these if you'd like but you know I really wouldn't want ones much further than the barrel on something like this um, but I'm going to tell you right now it, as light as this is it, it does rock your world a little bit so be prepared for that um, if you pick one of these up, not so bad you can't shoot it. I mean, you see me shooting right there, and that target is just tore all to pieces. Um, with that six shot, especially, it was just, it's just, let me take you down here and show you this. All right, guys, I'm going to take you down here and show this to you. Now, I'm only at like eight or 10 yards. I'm not that far away. But look at the pattern of these huge chunks I was taking out. Now, this is the bird shot I started out with, of course. But this huge chunks right here at 8 or 10 yards. Now, with that short barrel, yes, that's going to, you know, spread a little bit more. But for like a hallway for home defense, that holds pretty tight. So, yes, you could use something like this for home defense if you choose to do so. Um, six rounds is quite a bit in a shotgun. Uh, because like I said, it takes chunks. You, you don't have to hit a home intruder too many times with a shotgun till he decides he doesn't want to be there anymore. It just takes just a few uh, for him to figure that out. Now this wood, um, it's all right. It's not the highest grade wood I've ever seen in my life, but um, it's not bad either. I, I just think this is one of the sexiest shotguns though I have ever seen in my life. I really like this thing and uh, it's it's not going anywhere. I've, I've already had offers for people wanting to buy this thing, but um, this was actually the one in the deal that I actually wanted the most, just because I think the wood grain looks so, so good. Now there again, I'd never had any dealings with Black Aces Tactical. I watched a video online, a guy had one of the tactical versions of one of these, and his wouldn't cycle good. It's like, it's like when he cycled it, he'd have to come up and it would stop and he'd have to like jerk it twice to get the, uh, get the lever to work on it to get to feed the next shell but you can see right there um i put 10 rounds through this and like i said i'm not going to put a ton of rounds through this this ain't something i'm going to shoot very often i'm not going to use this for home defense but if you choose to do so you could uh but i had no issues in mine mine was just running just fine this is more or less like a a first thoughts video of this i don't really use um shotguns for home defense um i'm more of an AR style person for home defense. Give me the 30 rounds with a frangible ammunition and uh, we'll go that route. But uh, if you're a shotgun guy, uh, this very well could be right up your alley. Cause like I said, it's short, it's 18 and a half inches. So it's short, you can come around the, the hall. You can kind of, you know, slice that pie as you go around the corner. And uh, it does hold six rounds. You know, a lot of shotguns will have that uh, limiter in here. You can take that out. Um, but a lot of shotguns will have that. This one didn't have it. So six rounds in home defense is, uh, is not too shabby. Like I said, you could probably get a little extension, maybe fit a couple more in there and get eight rounds in it, which would be even better. Um, nowhere to put a light on this one, but if that's your cup of tea, wait till the next video and, uh, we'll have one that you might just be able to do that with. Again, Black Aces Tactical 12 gauge, 18 and a half inch lever gun. Um, just... A sweet, sweet little gun. If you're looking for something to go out and have some fun with, something that your friends are going to be envious of, because a lot of them may not have seen a lever action shotgun and uh, they just want to shoot it, uh, this is probably 
what you'd be looking for. Because to me, I think this one looks a little better than the one we'll go over in the next video. Um, but I don't think you can go wrong with either one of them, depending on what you want to do with it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I appreciate y'all watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Sorry I didn't put a thousand rounds through this, but I don't think my shoulder could take a thousand rounds repeatedly. Um, and a lot of the high brass, I've got another one back here that I do not think will run low brass. So I had to save some of the high brass uh, for that one. So stay tuned for that as well. Again, I got four of these to be reviewing. And uh, out of the 10 rounds on this, like I said, I'm, I'm never going to use this for, for home defense or self-defense or anything like that uh, if, I can, if I can, you know, get to something else. Uh, but so far, I didn't have the hiccups that some of the other people were talking about. I appreciate y'all watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. This thing is just beautiful. We'll see you next time.